In this video, we'll be showing you how to send an email alert for a Fivetran sync error. Let's dive in. We'll start off our video inside of Fivetran and just show the connector that we're gonna sync inside of Shipyard in just a moment. So we're just gonna sync this Google Sheets solution video test load. Um, so let's jump into Shipyard and show how we can start that sync. Uh, so inside of Shipyard, we're inside of our fleet builder here and we can search our blueprints for Fivetran blueprints. Uh, we can click on the execute sync. So this will uh, start that sync inside of Fivetran. So if I click that, it's gonna make a vessel for us over here. And it's also gonna pop up our authorization guide if you need, uh, if you if, if this is the first time using a Fivetran blueprint inside of Shipyard to show you how to get the API key and API secret that we'll input in just a moment. I'm gonna close that for right now. I'm gonna rename our vessel to execute sync. <clears throat> and grab my API key and AP, API secret, as I mentioned before. And then put in my connector ID as well for that Google Sheets load. Um, so also for each vessel inside of Shipyard, you can set up notifications uh, to whatever email or how many emails you would like uh, to send a message after an error for that vessel um, or after a completion of an on-demand run. I'm just gonna leave that as their settings currently. And then we can also have guardrails for the number of retries the time between retries and the runtime cutoff as well. Um, so now that our execute sync vessel is set up, we're gonna set up one more Fivetran vessel here that's going to check the sync status. So we'll rename that to check sync status. So this vessel is gonna go into Fivetran and it's gonna ping the API to see if that uh, sync has completed or not. Um, so it's not a continuous run. Um, so again, I'm going to grab my API key and API secret here. I'm going to leave the connector ID blank since it is the same, um, the same that we had before. Um, and then for our guardrails, I'm going to take this to zero retries because we want this to fail to test our, our fleet here. So I'm going to connect those together. So whenever the sync starts, we want it to start checking the sync status. So now that our five trend process is complete, we want to set up our email our email vessel here to send a vessel in case of a failure. So I'm going to search for an email vessel. So I'm going to send a message. So we can call this send failure message. And again, we have an authorization guide to set up your email as well. Um, so I'm going to go through here and set up with what I have. Grab my password here. Okay, so I'm gonna send this just to myself. Uh, you can CC or blind CC anyone in the email. Uh, subject line is Fivetran failure. And then our message, we can say your Fivetran sync failed. Okay, so I want to connect this to the vessel from before, but instead of a success this time, we want this one only to run if there's an error on the vessel beforehand. Um, so it looks like our fleet is completely set up here. And so the last thing we want to do before we run this is we want to go to our fleet settings and name the fleet. So we'll name this Fivetran to email. Okay, so now everything is set up in our fleet. We can save and finish. So this is going to take us to a page that's going to say the fleet has been created successfully, as you see here and we can go ahead and click run your fleet. So this is gonna kick off an on-demand run. Um, inside of Shipyard, we have multiple ways that you can run a fleet. So you can do an on-demand run like I just did. Um, and you can also set up triggers. So you can set up a scheduled trigger that's gonna run uh, daily, hourly, weekly. Um, or you can also set up a webhook uh, API trigger uh, where you can trigger that API uh, using any software that you would like. Um, so now that, we're, now that we've kicked off our fleet, it's gonna take us to our fleet log here, which is gonna have a Gantt chart here in the middle and also a table down here on the bottom that's gonna outline your full fleet run. Um, you can see our execute sync vessel is already finished, so I can click inside of that, um, and it's gonna show the environment variables that we set, which was that API key and API secret, and you can see that those are hidden from the user inside of Shipyard because they're passwords, um, and we wouldn't want those to be visible to just anybody. Um, but you can see on the bottom, it says the sync has, has been successfully triggered for connector with ID oxymoron ratio. Um, so our five trend sync is good to go. Um, and you can see it went in and checked to see that it finished. Um, we wanted that to fail, so it failed. And so that kicked off our email vessel. Um, and you can see that one's already finished as well. Uh, we can click inside of that. It says that the message was successfully sent. So now if I open up my email, you can see that we got an email from Shipyard here. It says that your five trans sync failed here uh, from me with, the, with that subject line that we set before. Um, 
So inside this video, we went through how to start a Fivetran sync, uh, check the Fivetran sync status, and then if the Fivetran sync failed, that, to send an email to a user notifying them of the failure. If you have any questions about this solution or any other potential solution, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. You can go to shipyardapp.com to start building powerful workflows just like this for free. Want to see us tackle more solutions? Check out these related videos.